Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to make some cinematic bars to be used during cutscenes. Let's get started. So, let's make a very nice, simple and clean class to add cinematic bars on top and bottom. We're going to go into our canvas here, create a empty game object, and name it Cinematic Bars. So here is my game object, and I expand it to occupy the entire canvas object. Okay, great. We're going to create our bars through code rather than adding game objects in here, so to make it easier to copy paste the script into any project you want. That way you can just drag the script into a new project and you don't have to set up all the game objects in here. So we're going to create a new C Sharp script and name it Cinematic Bars. Now in here on our private void awake, we are going to create both of our bars, which will be we're going to store the rec transform for our top bar and our bottom bar. So let's create a game object, game object, new game object. Let's call it the top bar. And we're going to give it the image component, which is in using unity engine.ui. Then let's go into our game object dot transform dot set our parent parent to be this transform and don't keep the world position. Okay, let's grab our image component and set the color to black. And let's store our reference game object .get component type rec transform. Okay, now we need to set up our anchors to make sure that our top bar is located on the top of this transform and stretched to the sides. So to do that, we're going to use the anchor min and anchor max values. Those values are vector twos with normalized position of the lower left and upper right corners. So the anchor min is the normalized position of the lower left corner. So in this case, we're saying that the left corner is on the left side on the top. The anchor max is the upper right corner, which we're saying is on the right side and also on the top. This way we can then go into our top bar and modify the size delta and it will modify the bar starting from the top. Now copy paste this code to set up our bottom bar. Now the bottom bar instead of having the min and max on 1 on the y it's going to be a 0 since we want to anchor it to the bottom of our screen. Okay, so this code should now create two game objects, one for the top bar, one for the bottom bar, and set the size of 300, which from the top bar will go from top to the middle, and the bottom bar from the bot to the middle. So let's go into our scene, drag the script onto our cinematic bars object, and let's see, we should be able to see the two black bars, one on top and one on bottom. Yep, there you have it. So as you can see, this way it's very easy to copy paste this script into any new project since we just need to drag our script here and the script takes care of creating all the elements necessary. Okay, so now let us set up some functions to show and hide our cinematic bars. So we're going to make a public void show and in order to show the information we need is a float for the target size of our bar so we can have multiple bar sizes and a float for the time to reach that target size. So in our class we're going to have a private float for our target size and we're also going to need a private float for the change size amount which is the amount the size delta will change per second. So in here we're going to first set our target size to the target size and then we're going to calculate the change size amount which will be the difference between the target size and the top bar dot size delta. The top bar and bottom bar are going to have the same size, so we can just use one in here and divide it by the time we want it to take. Size delta dot y, of course. Then, since we have a function to show, let's also have a function to hide. This one will only take a time since the target size is going to be zero, so target size equals zero and change size amount so it's going to be the same thing okay so let's set up the animation to change the size delta to this target size so I'm going to go into my private void update and in here I want to modify my size delta from the bottom bar and the top bar based on the change size amount until it reaches target size so I'm going to have a vector 2 for my size delta 
which will have the top bar dot size delta. This is what we're going to modify. So size delta dot y plus equals the change size amount multiplied by time dot delta time. And then I'm going to apply that to my top bar dot size delta. And also my bottom bar dot size delta. Okay, so the basics should now be working. Let's add some debug buttons to make sure that it is in fact working. So I'm going to go up here and using the CodeMonkey utilities, which as always you can grab for free from unitycodemonkey.com. And I'm going to go into the CM debug class to create a button on the UI. I'm going to place it slightly on the right side and the function that it will trigger will do a show say 300 and let's say it's going to take 300 milliseconds to show that and let's say the text is show and add another button for hide and we're going to hide okay so we should now have two buttons one we can click to show one to hide and when we click it we're going to set our target size calculate the change size amount based on the target size and the time we want to take and on update, we are simply animating it towards our size delta. Let's test it. Okay, so here I am. I have my two buttons and the bars are at their initial starting point, which should actually be zero, but we'll fix that later. Let's see if we can hide. And there you go, they're hidden. And I can show, but as you can see, it kept going on forever because we did not set the stop. Okay, so let's fix those issues. First of all, set the starting size delta to zero. And now in here, we need to calculate when we have passed our target size. So in here, if the change size amount, if it is positive, then we're going to check if our size delta dot y, if it surpassed our target size. If it has surpassed, then set the size delta dot y to our target size. And in order to stop the animation, let's go up here and set up a private bool, call it is active. So when we start the animations, let's set that ball to true. And here, when we reach our target, we're going to set that to false. And we're only going to execute this code if is active is true. Okay, and let's test out when the change size amount is negative. So if it goes under our target size, you set that to our target size and you stop the animation. And then obviously you refresh based on the value that we have in here. Okay, so let's test it out and everything should be working. Okay, here's my scene. The bars are not there by default. That's great. So I'm going to show, boom, there you go. It took 300 milliseconds to reach the target amount and hide. And there you go. I can show, I can hide, and there you go. And there you have it. I can hide and show some cinematic bars. So when you put this in conjunction with a camera zoom and a specific cutscene animation, you can see how you can create very nice cutscenes. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, see you next time.